Hello, and welcome to a special Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight's question is going to be what's in the box, in particular looking at the Turmoil expansion for Terraforming Mars, and in particular the Kickstarter version of that expansion. Uh, during our board game bag check or cardboard coat check, whatever you want to call it. That's just what we call our unboxing videos. Uh, I'm going to be recording a few of these tonight. This is the first of many. I'm going to be taking a look at these games. This is the first time I've opened this. I have not seen the contents of this. The only thing I know about this expansion is what was published on the Kickstarter. In this ca case, I did back the Kickstarter at this level with just the expansion and the add-ons. I already had the base game and everything else. Um, so this is something I purchased myself. This is not a review copy. Stronghold Games didn't send this to me or anything like that. Uh, so you're looking at my own game in this part. You are going to get to see me open this and hear my thoughts as I see the components in this box for the first time live. So you're going to get to see it same time I see it. And you basically get an unedited version of my thoughts. So to start off, I am just going to use my trusty safety knife to cut the, car, uh, the, the shrink wrap off. Uh, it is worth noting there is a Kickstarter sticker on here that's on the shrink wrap. It's not on the actual box. So Terraforming Mars term, Turmoil, Leading Humanity in Uncertain Times. It's uh, from Fry, Jacob Frexelius and Frexelius Games. It is a time of turmoil for the human civilization on Mars. Different ideologies and agendas vie for political power, while terrible dust storms and other disasters threaten the progress of the Martian societies. Send your own delegates to influence the Terraforming Committee and prepare your corporation for the events lurking on the horizon. Find a way to prosper through the challenges ahead. Uh, there's a list of contents here. Uh, the important one, though, is it lets you get involved in politics and navigate in a challenging world. Get involved in politics and navigate in a challenging world. That sounds like bad English to me. Delegates influence the terraforming committee and global events sent the path for the future. Also includes new cards and corporations. Uh, this is an expert expansion to terraforming Mars. I thought that was interesting. Uh, we've played together with the main game, maybe combined with any expansions. The one that's important is it adds about 30 minutes to game length. So this is something that's going to make the game a much heavier game. So at that point, it's enough to see in my face. We're going to tip down and we're going to take a look at what's in this box. So again, this is my first time opening this. I don't even know what we're going to see. Uh, we got some nice baggies of components right off the stop and some cards. Some nice Stronghold Games cards. I'm assuming those are just uh, like an advertisement placement card. Looks like the same style art as the base game. We got a little tiny pack and a thicker pack. We'll get to what's in those in a minute. We have a baggie with some components. I'm getting a lot of glare off something. I'm not sure exactly what. Open it to that. We're going to take a look at this. You know what? I'm going to come back. Let's go through so then we have the rule book. We have a new board. Hey, that is nice and thick. Stronghold game is well known for putting just paper, thick card type of uh, boards. This is an actual mounted board. So that's, that's an improvement for Stronghold games. I'm impressed by that. Nice seeing a nice board here. This has a spot for one, TR revision. All players lose one TR. Two, global event. Perform a global event. Three, new government. Four, change the times. So this is some kind of timeline thing. Losing one terraforming every rating, every round sounds punishing. Uh, we got some punch outs here. Nice thin one. Again, wow, thank you, Stronghold. Look at this. Mounted boards. I'm impressed. Here is the new board showing like the, the, the Senate or whatever you want to call it, the new political arena. You obviously have a house and you're going to put your meeples on it. It's a bunch of playing pieces on there. Everything very clear. Lots of icons, everything color-coded, looks solid to me. Um, obviously, these are going to be policies, because I can already tell these fit right down there. Then we have one of this. is a Kickstarter exclusive, so I do apologize. Anyone who did not back the Kickstarter, this is the main reason I Kickstarted that. Look at that. It's showing up really good in the video. Look at those nice double-layered boards. Amazingly flat. They're not even bent. Almost any time I get a game with double-layered boards, they're warped. Uh, due to the, the gluing process. Stronghold managed to pull it off. These are not warped at all. They're actually way nicer than they look, uh, that I expected. I can't tell you how well they work. I don't think there's any cubes in the bits for me to throw a cube in here and try. Yeah, I don't see any cubes. 
if I see cubes. So there are boards. Uh, one of the things that doesn't happen is they're not color coded by player. So there you go, a bunch of boards. So now again, this was a Clickstarter exclusive. Um, Stronghold has said they will be selling these on the Board Game Geek Market and possibly some other places. They'll probably have them at cons. To be honest, this was one of the big reasons I backed this. Getting boards like this off sites like Etsy cost almost as much as this expansion. So a new way to track all your stuff with individual slots for all the cubes so things don't slide around. Very impressed by these, nice thickness. And then we have a new cube for tracking something. One of those tracking cubes, who knows where that one goes. So we're gonna put these basic components back in. Not a lot of punch boards. Let's head back to the rules. First of all, we'll do a little quick flip through just to see how they look. I gotta say, I do like dark text on a light background. Showing off the new boards, what cards go where. I see lots of examples. Uh, the rules for Terraforming Mars have always been excellent, so I don't expect that to change. I'm sure they'll be nice and clear. I don't see a lot of reference here, so this is all pure rules. No real wall of text. We are looking at a total of seven pages of new rules, including things like new solo rules with this. So really quickly, we're gonna look through, there's a setup, introduction, new rules and game changes, and then a new solar phase, which I remember they changed that in the Venus rules as well. Now we'll move on to the baggie of components. So inside the baggie is a bunch of other little baggies. These appear to be yep, and player colors. Well, four of the player colors. So these are clear translucent little looks like heads. Like, um, here we go, all five colors. So the five player colors. So these are obviously in all five player colors. I think the blue is probably gonna show up best on camera. So we're gonna open one of those. Yeah, they're like little little profiles, heads. Come on, autofocus. You can kind of see that. They're translucent plastic, which matches the, the base game. So we have those in all the different colors. Um, they're heavy. They're a heavy plastic. Like uh, They almost feel like glass. I'm sure they're plastic. They're heavier than I would have expected. So we got those in all the player colors, and then we have gray, larger heads. They look like uh, mannequin heads. Or, th you know, things you put a wig on. I'll get one of those out. And again, hopefully the camera will be happy and zoom in on that. Nice, thick, solid component. I do like that it's a larger size. It's going to make it easier to tell apart, even by touch. Then we get to the bulk of anything Terraforming Mars, and that is cards. I am not going to show you every card. Okay, one thing to note, these came apart really easy. I didn't have to grab the knife. That is a bonus. So you are seeing these for the first time I am. Oh wait, we got new corporations. Get a little closer, hopefully a little less glare. Still more corporations, more corporations. So we have, now again, there may be um, Kickstarter add-ons in here, Kickstarter bonuses. So I don't know if this is what will come in the retail, but I have one, two, three, four, five new corporations, card stocks, the same as the base game as far as I can tell. I don't have it in front of me but it feels like nice solid card stock. It's not too overly slippery. Up next, we have a bunch of whatever the new cards are. So the political agenda cards. Uh, no art on these, surprisingly. All blue cards, text with lots of icons. Well, at least this way people can't complain about Stronghold using stock art for their stuff. There's just no art. Here's a close up of one of the cards. Asteroid mining. I do apologize for my camera not wanting to autofocus. Unfortunately, with this HP webcam, it's already as zoomed out as it can be. I'm gonna read one of these at random. Now, again, I haven't played, so I don't know exactly what this is gonna mean. L terraforming lobbying. To make Mars habitable, there is a constant political struggle to promote the terraforming effort. To attract more corporations to Mars, the rewards have to outweigh the risks. Generous funding. It shows two mega credits per person gets you five terraforming. Gain two mega credits for each influence and each complete set of five terraforming rating over 15. So this looks like you get a whole bunch of money if you've terraformed Mars a lot and you have a lot of politicians in the influence thing. Fair. No clue how that'll play out. Then we have some project cards. 
Now we're back to what some people complain is some of the worst art in board gaming. I personally have never had a problem with it. Some of them are photos of people, some is stock art, some of his new art. Same thing we've always seen from Terraforming Mars. This doesn't look any different. I do see some new requirements up here. Uh, yeah, there's definitely a new requirement here. So some of these cards have requirements that are obviously based on this expansion. Um, just like the other games, there is a little tiny symbol on the bottom here. Uh, these I'm not a fan of. I don't understand why companies don't make the, hey, this is an expansion graphic bigger. Why it's such a little tiny thing. So we have a whole bunch of project cards here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 project cards. And every single one of them but one has a new requirement based on the expansion. So that's important to note. And those symbols are based on the political parties, which there are two reference cards for. And those are single-sided. So you have two new reference cards. That's something I've never understood about Terraforming Mars. A five-player game, and it comes with two sets of reference cards. I always thought that was odd. So that's it there. Now, my guess is all of that is what you get in the Bitcoin retail game. And confirming that, I see a little Kickstarter symbol down here. So all of this, everything I've shown you so far, you're going to get in the retail game except for those shiny 3D boards. This little pack here, well, it's not so little, are the Kickstarter exclusives. So let's take a look at what we get for back in the Kickstarter and not saving a ton of money by getting it 50-some percent off on an online retailer already. I'm not bitter at all. All right, ton of project cards. Whole bunch of new project cards. We'll flip through a couple of them. Same deal as before. Uh, none of these have the new... Oh, no, one of them has the new symbol on them as a requirement. These look like they're going to work for any game. Like, I see Saturn surfing and stuff. They don't look like... They don't even have the same symbol for this. So it looks like you could toss these in your game even if you aren't using them. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 project cards. Then we have more political agenda cards. One, two, three, four, four of those. These are the same blue background, a bunch of text. Then we got three corporations. That's a lot of new corporations thinking. That's a lot of variety added to the game right there. Three new Kickstarter exclusive corporations that of course you'll probably be able to get as promos at conventions or uh, from the Board Game Geek store. Then, surprisingly, three blank cards. I don't know, I guess they're just trying to make that deck look bigger. So that's it, that's what you get. We have our Kickstarter exclusives. We have, that's this stack here, Kickstarter exclusive stack of cards. Again, I apologize, if you didn't back it, you're stuck with retail, you won't be getting these, but I don't think there's anything here completely necessary. What you would be getting in the Turmoil expansion, uh, new little heads. In all the player colors, gray heads, two new mounted boards. I think that part's important. Mounted player boards for the new stuff. Uh, sorry, not player boards. Mounted central boards. And well, with the Kickstarter, there are the nice, shiny, two-layer player boards. So that is it for Turmoil. The latest, um, what they call it, ex ex uh, experienced? What they call it? Expert. Expert expansion for terraforming mars again i am mo tuzano the tabletop bellhop you can find me all over the internet as tabletop bellhop one word you can find our content at tabletopbellhop.com uh, you can find other videos on youtube and you can see us stream live at twitch.tv slash tabletop bellhop if you like this video and would love to make it look a little better it'd be awesome if you headed over to patreon.com slash tabletop bellhop and consider tipping your bellhop because I really could use some more lights in this room to get rid of some of these shadows, and it would be awesome to be able to afford those. Uh, for Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo. Good night, and game on.